MBC, along with Onyx Impact and its founder, Ososa Osa, a Nigerian tether, recently published an article claiming that Black American content creators are spreading misinformation among 40,000 or 40 million Americans, something like that. But yeah, this is crazy, family. She ain't nothing but a, a tether put out here by the dominant society because this Onyx Impact, they claiming on this article that it's a nonprofit, but we know what's funded for and paid for by the dominant society because they trying to say that what we doing on the grassroots level as content creators is spreading lies as foundational black American content creators is spreading lies regarding the democratic party in the, in the election process. We ain't spreading no lies. We just putting our people up on game as to what's going on. This influx of immigrants is being done to undermine our claim to reparations. They've always undermined us with, immigrants it's just now we got on cold with one another and started peeping the game because our four our our ancestors you know a lot of them was pushing for immigration but they didn't understand what immigration was actually doing to us and then every time our needs would get buried and suppressed upon the influx of all these immigrants and now we just give a pushback to that like hold on y'all flooded and they put them in our communities black american communities so when we get pushed back to it it's now like we're the wrong person we're the person in the wrong. And then they're claiming that foundational black Americans uh, don't believe in the concepts of Pan-Africanism. No, we don't believe in the concept of Pan-Africanism because Pan-Africanism was used as a tool to undermine our people as well. A lot of foundational black Americans were at the forefront of those Pan-Africanist movements. And then when we look back to see who's standing behind us and with us, ain't nobody there. We left holding an empty bag. We, we done pushing for the needs of everybody. We got to push for our needs first because until we help ourselves, we can't help nobody else. And we just get codified around our lineage. And it claims that, and also in this article, that they don't want people that ain't descendants of slaves here in America to speak for them. Why would we want people to speak for us? We can't have people just out here speaking for us because most times when these tethers and things like that that look like us but are not like us tend to speak for us, they, they tend to say a bunch of nonsense. You know, we don't we don't need no reparations, this, that, or the other. They claim they always go against the grain when it comes to us. And we can't speak for other groups, so why should groups speak for us? If we get up and try to speak on behalf of somebody from Africa, this nation, that nation, they won't let us speak for them. So why are they coming over speaking for us and our interests? It got to be our people speaking for our people. So ain't nothing wrong with that. And then this article was going after Brother Reza Islam, claiming that he's a self-proclaimed intellectual extremist who goes against vaccines and, ch and child vaccines and claims that they uh, pr produce autism and things without, and these things aren't backed up by the CDC. I stand with Brother Reza Islam. And if you notice, Reza Islam speaks a lot of truth to power. And every social media account he makes, they try to block it to suppress his voice. And they do the same thing with me. They try to suppress my voice and my my impact on these social media apps. And I know I know the game that they play. But Brother Reza Islam, yeah, he speaks a lot of truth to power and calls things out, especially in the healthcare industry. And he said them child vaccines lead to autism and things like that. And this is what this article said. But I stand with Brother Reza Islam, and he, they said he's saying things without having no proof or facts to back it up, and the CDC is saying that he don't have no proof. The CDC will say that Brother Reza Islam don't have no proof because the CDC don't stand the game from saying that he got truth. What do they stand the game from it? You know, it's like opposite ends of the spectrum. It's like good and evil. Why would somebody bad say that somebody good is credible, you know? But it's, this ain't nothing but, they had a bunch of other names mixed in this article, Candace Owens, Fresh and Fit, but these were just non-factors. Non they were just mentioning them to make it look like they weren't coming at foundational black Americans, but foundational black Americans were direct, directly named in this article. So you know they going after foundational black American content creators who speak the truth to power, such as myself, and putting out trying to put out good content to make up the minds of our people. They don't like that. They want us to just be on some global kumbaya, be undermined with the influx of immigrants and our needs not being addressed by the Democrat and either party. And them days is over. We just calling out things and protecting our culture, our history, our lineage, and 
yeah, this is the new norm. So we ain't going nowhere. You know, just my thoughts on the matter. Peace.